Uh, on cross products, I don't want to go through the formalism of cross products the way we did that with the determinant. I just want to remind you that if you have a cross product of two vectors, that is minus b cross a, and that the, the magnitude of C is the length of A times the length of B times the sine of the angle between them. The vector C, the dot product, the cross product, is always perpendicular to both A and perpendicular to B. In other words, it's perpendicular to the plane of the two vectors. Now, if it's perpendicular to the plane, then in that case it's perpendicular to the blackboard. You have two choices. It's either coming at you perpendicular or it's coming straight, straight into the blackboard. And now everyone has so his own way of doing it. I taught you what's called the right-hand corkscrew rule. You take the first one that is mentioned, in this case A, and you rotate it over the shortest angle to B. When you do that, you rotate your corkscrew seen from where you're sitting counterclockwise. Then the corkscrew comes to you, and so the direction of the vector is such that you will see the tip of the vector, so it's coming straight out of the blackboard.